Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm actually going to do something a little bit different for me. I'm actually going to modify a retro console. So I have a old PlayStation 3 Super Slim and anyone who knows PlayStation 3 Super Slims could not be hardware modified in the sense that you could not get a custom firmware for them. So I am going to apply a HEN software patch to it which is kind of like a soft mod. So first of all, we'll have to check the version of the firmware that's currently installed on my PlayStation. And please bear with me, it's been quite a while since I've used a PlayStation. So this may not be as smooth a process as you would expect. I'm also doing this for a capture card, which is why you're able to see it just now. But the lag is, let's just say it's quite considerable. So it's going to be under settings, surely, and system settings. Okay, so we go into system settings. And then scroll all the way down for what seems like years to system information. And you'll see that I'm in firmware version 4.53. Now the latest firmware version that is currently modifiable is 4.89. So I am well below that version. So I should be able to hen mod this console. So let's find out how to do that. Shall we? Okay, so the next step then is for us to actually get the PS3 exploit and you get that by going to PS3 exploit, that's xploit.com and clicking on the link which says here 4.89.1 HFW hybrid firmware, thanks little ballop, I think that is. It's a pretty bad font for the thank you. Click on that, it'll pop up another window and click on any of these mirrors here and just click on one of these and download it to your local system. Okay. You'll also need a program if you don't already have it for preparing the USB. So we can just close these off just now. And the one I use is Rufus. You'll have seen me use it in previous tutorials. So that's rufus.ie slash en. And you can just click on download of the portable version and download it to your local system. I've already done so. So I'll just cancel that and now we need to put our USB key that we're going to use for the exploit into our machine and we need to format it a specific way. So we need to open Rufus and we just do that by double clicking the portable executable and wait for it to open. Say yes to user account control when it kicks in. Let's move out of the way. It's asking if I want to allow Rufus to update. I'm going to say no because I don't really need it to. I don't use it that often. Okay, it's already selected my 8 gig drive. I need to change the boot section to non-bootable and I need to change, that's only given me the option to format this in FAT32. Hopefully that'll be correct. I was expecting it to give me a large FAT32. Okay, so hopefully the drive that you've placed in is the one that you are going to use and there's nothing on it that you need to keep because otherwise you need to stop now as this is about to format and delete all the data on that drive. If you're sure, click start. You get another warning saying that all data will be destroyed. Are you sure? So I'm going to say yes. It gives you another warning. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. And now we can click close. If we now open our Internet Explorer, scroll down, you will see that we have a 8 gigabyte H drive. So you can go in here and delete the files that are in here because they're of no use to you in the sense of modifying your PlayStation. Oh, well, okay, you can skip the system hidden one because it's Windows. Just ignore that, it shouldn't be an issue. Okay, so now you have to right click and select new and folder and you want to call this PS3. Okay, so then inside our PS3 folder, we're going to right click and do new again. Again, in uppercase, we're going to do update. You can spell it correctly, baby. Okay, and then inside that folder, we're going to put our custom firmware. So I'm going to go back to my downloads folder, I'm going to open the zip file with my update and I'm going to copy the update file into the folder that I just created. So I'll right click and paste, give that a moment. Okay, so now that that's been extracted, we need to double check that it says the file name is ps 3 updat dot pup and that it's all in capitals. Something else that's worth checking is the md5 hash which is kind of like the encryption key on the file to make sure that it's not been tampered with with a man in the middle attack. So you can do this by going over here and you can drag and drop the file into here. If I just bring up my updat folder again, click on it, drag it across and drop it on here. Give it a moment. 
Okay. And it shows the file checksum there. And if we go back here and over to the archive again, so the compressed file, it has a, okay, that's a strange file name for it. So it must just be the file name. So if I press F2 on that to rename it, it's not going to let me. Awesome. Okay. So you can rename the file. Or you can enter the details manually, but as you can see, 1746FD1A7, these are basically the same if you exclude the MD5 part of it, so it's a valid file. As I say, by all means, manually enter this, but a quick once over for me, that seems fine. And that's sufficient for me. At the end of the day, if I break my console, then I break my console. It's mine to play with. Okay, so I'm now going to eject a drive from the PC and plug it into the PlayStation 3. Okay, so we are back on the PlayStation, as you can see, I'm just moving around. So what we need to do is we need to go all the way up the top to system update, and then we need to select update via storage media, it should scan, there we go. It says the following update data was found 4.89.1 HFW hybrid and exploitable. Click OK, I don't now begin installing that. Now, for some reason, we have to do this twice. There's a disclaimer, so we need to accept that. Let's give it a warning saying do not turn off the system during the update. If you do, you may not be able to restart the PS3 system. Once some update is started, you cannot go back to the previous version of system software. So I'm okay with that. I'm going to click start. So for some reason, this doesn't usually take the first time and we have to do it a second time. So we're going to do both attempts here and hope that we don't have to put the PlayStation into recovery mode. And do the second part from there. Recovery mode is the better way of doing it, but the home method is the easiest way to do it, if that makes sense. So the PlayStation is rebooting just now. Okay, my capture card's not picking this up, but it says checking for update data. Please wait. And it's now continuing to actually install the update. Again, my capture card unfortunately isn't picking this up, but I will put a little overview and probably jump cut most of this okay and we appear to be back in the playstation okay so as i said we're supposed to do this twice so we again move over to settings go up to system update update via storage media okay that didn't work interesting so let's see what version the sensor system software is at then Sony's got so many menus that it just does not need. Okay, we're currently in version 4.89. So on to the next part of the exploit. Okay, so let's now try installing the exploit. So we need to go over to the internet and do an internet search. And do P s3 x light dot com come on okay that's because I've not connected it to Wi-Fi. Give me a moment. <laughs> okay, now I'm pretending I'm no longer an idiot and I'm actually going to try and do this correctly with an internet connection. Let's try that again. It'll be the top one. Okay, so we're going to bookmark this by saying, uh, pressing the triangle, going down to bookmarks, go into my bookmarks, add to bookmarks, and then press enter. We're also then going to go to triangle, go up to tools, Go down to home page, select home page and use blank and down to OK. And then we're going to come out of the browser by pressing the back button and then X. 
Okay, to get the best experience installing Hen, they recommend that you clear everything. So we go back into our internet search. Sorry, we don't. We go back into our internet browser. Obviously, it'll bring up a blank page. We bring up a triangle. We go to Tools. And we delete Cookies. And yes. And then Triangle. Tools. Delete Search History. And yes. Triangle. Tools. Delete Cache. And yes. Triangle. Tools. Delete Authentication Information. And yes. Okay. And then again, we want to come out in the browser. And this is just to make sure that we've got nothing cached or hanging around that may interfere with us installing Hen. So again, open an internet browser. And when it's open, press triangle. Go down to bookmarks. Go into your bookmarks and select the PS3 exploit. And then go up to PS3 Hen. And Hen install alternative. Select that. Okay, so it's now saying close the browser, open remote play and quit immediately. Use a new icon to download and install Hen, reboot after installation. So let's close the browser. Open remote play. And close immediately. There we go, we now have the install hen option. So we're going to select install hen option and install. It's asking me if I'm sure I wish to download it, so I'm going to select yes. Unfortunately my capture card has jumped out again. It's now saying install complete and obviously it said reboot afterwards. So let's Turn off the system. Select yes. Okay, and we'll now turn it back on. Hopefully my capture card will pick it back up. I really need a capture card that's not as flaky. Okay, I'm going to stop and reboot this in order to see if my capture card picks up because it's it's not doing so. Okay, so we're back in the PlayStation. We have an option now to enable Hen. So if I select that. I get a little hen logo. And it says welcome to PS3 hen. It asks me if I want to close the browser. If I say yes, we now have an exploitable PS3. We can confirm that the exploit's actually been successful if we simply move across to the network settings and you can see we have hybrid firmware tools. And then there we can restart the PS3 and perform some other options on it. I'll possibly do a further tutorial on what else you can do once you now have a modified Homebrew enabled Hen PlayStation 3. But those of you who are in the know will already know this should allow you to run Homebrew, emulation and backups. If you like this video give it a like, if you dislike this video give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future then please let us know in the comments below and most of all thank you for watching.